Thousands of Connecticut residents who may have otherwise gone without will have a hot Thanksgiving meal thanks to the Connecticut Food Bank. And they're not just getting turkey. It's potatoes and carrots and onions and sweet potatoes and apples and oranges. And then, of course, we have a lot of other donated food that rounds out the trimmings, like the stuffing. The Connecticut Food Bank collected and gave out more than 18,000 turkeys this year, many of them coming from donations from the community. We probably had over a dozen food drives, and then, of course, we have our own food drive here where families come and they drop off food to the Connecticut Food Bank. And we probably have another two dozen food drives where it's just offices that decided that are organizations that they just wanted to bring something to chip in. And so it's really been a community effort. And we are so excited. This is our Super Bowl. Local pantries placed these orders last month based on how much food they thought they would need to serve those in need on Thanksgiving. The Coast Guard out here this morning helping pantries load the food up. Normally we feed from 60 to 100 people, but the Thanksgiving sometimes it's upwards of 200. I heard one year it was about 250. That was before I started working there. And that was an average size order, some of them much bigger. They rely on the help from volunteers like the Coast Guard and the Waterbury Fire Department to help pack these orders and get them off to their final destinations. No, it could be your neighbors. You, know, you don't know. You don't know who needs help at the time, this time of year and everything could be, could be your neighbor. So it feels good. The Connecticut Food Bank serves every county in Connecticut with the exception of Hartford and Tallinn County. They take donations throughout the year to also keep these pantries fully stocked. In Wallingford, Ashley Afonso, Fox 61 News.